Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel I am going to be doing a, another huge review. I am reviewing all of the Naked palettes. We're doing the original, two, three, smoke, and of course, heat. I use Naked Heat today on my makeup look and I am pretty obsessed with Naked, naked Heat. I was going to say Makeup Heat, but we all know it's Naked Heat. <laughs> But yes, I'm going to be doing a review on all of them. So sit back, relax. It is kind of long, so run and get a snack, but it's totally worth it because, I mean, when was the last time anyone swatched naked like the original? Like, it's been years. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy the swatch video. Please excuse my nails and please excuse this table. My mom and I just moved and uh, my setup is still not ready, but I still wanted to film this video for you guys. So without further ado, I feel like I say that a lot, but without further stalling, let's get started. All right, so first up is the Naked Palette. As we can see, this is very much the original Naked Palette. So it's like all fuzzy or velvety it says naked really big on it I'm not a huge fan of this packaging because I feel like it could break or get ruined really easily um, but yeah I think it's a great start you know they had no idea how big naked was gonna be and I'm kind of glad they haven't repackaged it because that would be kind of heartbreaking like if I went out and bought a new one today I'd be heartbroken if it wasn't the same packaging so I don't know I guess that says something for being iconic Alright, we're just gonna open it up. Yeah, you know, it's got a tiny little mirror in there. And then you have your 12 colors. There was a brush here, but it's with all my brushes. Alright, so we're gonna get on. I like how the colors go from like light to dark, you know? I mean, not, nece not necessarily like color scheme. Well, yeah, color scheme. Yeah, it goes from light to dark. I'm gonna shut up and not try and... Yeah, it's light to dark. Alright, let's get started. First up is Virgin. Virgin is a, it's like a slightly pinky, um, pretty neutral, shimmery um, nude. Um, it could be really good for the inner corner or for the for a brow highlight or even like on the lid. Although you really wouldn't see it on the lid, so you'd have to like put it over something. Up next we have Sin. Sin is noticeably darker. It's kind of like a coppery pink. Still very, very shimmery. This palette is really shimmery. Um, I'm kind of glad that they kind of change it up later. But, it, you know, both these are great shimmery colors. After that, we have Naked, which is the first matte in the palette. Naked is a very mild mid-tone brown. It's going to be a really good transition color or a crease color if you're doing a really, really basic eye. You know, you just wanted to darken up the crease and then go. That color would be really good for that. After that, we have Sidecar. Sidecar, it's like a coppery pewter color. You know, it kind of changes based on how you move your body. I really like Sidecar, but I feel like it kind of blends too well in this palette, if that makes sense. Like every time I try to do a look with it, you can't even really tell what's on like my lid. Up next is Buck. Buck is kind of my favorite crease color. And the reason why is because I feel like Naked is just a little too light. But Buck is just that great medium brown. You know, like if you just want to kind of contour your eye, you know, use Buck. If you just want to use a good transition color, use Buck. Like I feel like Buck is just that quintessential. You need it in your makeup kit. Up next we have Half Baked. Oof. Oh. Oh, I love Half Baked. Oh, look at that. Talk about your classic gold shimmer. Like, ugh. I don't think it could be any more beautiful, even if it tried. It is It is honestly just your classic shimmery gold that you need in your life year-round, any time of year. What I want to put on my lid? A shimmery gold. What am I going to go use? Half-baked. Like, it's so iconic, I feel like. It just, it really is. 
Up next we have Smog. Smog is honestly just like a darker kind of dirty virgin, version, virgin, no that's another color, version of um, Half Baked and I really like it. Like I definitely like, if you're like, mm, I want to like dirty this up a little bit, just reach for Smog. Like I feel like that's all you'd have to do. Up next is Dark Horse. Dark Horse is a shimmering dark brown with like some gold reflux in it because you can kind of see that these all have a similar underlying like shimmer to it. It's just very like a dark brown, which I like. I definitely think it's very workable. Up next is Toasted. I like Toasted a lot because it's definitely kind of... um got like a pinky red note to it but still really shimmery and I feel like you know after these three colors it's just really different you know like finally you have like a different shimmer up in here so after toasted we have hustle hustle is a really great dark shimmery brown well I don't want to say like brown because it's definitely got some other notes to it probably like a dark pewter is what I would say like, that's definitely more of kind of the shimmery shade it's got going on. Up next we have Creep. Creep is a matte gray. It's just a really dark matte gray, which it looks way darker in the pan than what it swatches, at least in my opinion. Like, if you see it, flip it around. Like, if you see it here... You know, you think it's more black, but then you when you go here, it's more... It's definitely a cool tone gray. It, it's for sure a cool tone... Wow, words. A cool tone gray, but it's not as dark as in the pan. Up next, we have Gun Metal, or for the last one, we have Gun Metal. I really like Gun Metal because I feel like you don't have a lot of colors like this. And it honestly is just a shimmery Gun Metal color. Like, you just don't see this very often. And I think it's really different, and I really love it. And in fact, I'm feeling like pretty, pretty inspired to use it in a look right now. I'm not gonna lie. Please be kind about my naked too. It is a little broken, and when I say broken, it's cause flip it up, two colors fall out. So I will say that I think they had some packaging problems with this one because you do see them change after Naked 3. My Naked 3 is also broken because like I have my little clamp thing up here. Like it's broken so it doesn't shut properly. Like I feel like there were just some, I mean nothing on their end. You know I feel like that's more of an engineer's thing you know. It's like, I don't know they just didn't test out the durability I guess very well but I don't feel like this is like an urban decay problem I think this is like an engineer problem to be honest all right well let's get started with the swatches all right first up is Foxy now if you've seen my other videos you know that Foxy is my uh, overall lid color it's like really hard to get your finger down in there with a divot like that all right so as you can see, Foxy blends into my skin tone pretty freaking well. And that is because it is my overall lid color. I do find that it covers up the blue veins on my eyes and on my arm decently well. So that's Foxy. I mean, it's just a great yellow toned um, lid color. I'm really glad that they kind of added these because you definitely see a naked one that you don't really have that. You know, it's mostly shimmers. And this one is mostly shimmers. I think there are only three mattes in all of this palette. So you know that that is kind of a problem because I'm not the kind of person who's gonna do a shimmery, an all shimmery look. Like that's just not gonna happen. But when I am traveling or when I can't find my Foxy, I do just dip into this palette and that's why it's got a hole that is so big. All right, up next we have Half Baked, which is the same as in the Naked One palette, but I am mad at it. Mm-mm, I am not mad at it. It is still so gorgeous. And I love it, and I really kind of want to use it right now, but, you know, patience. Up next is Booty Call. 
Booty Call is a great nudie shimmery color. It's a lot like um, Foxy that way. I kind of wish they swapped these when making the palette just because, you know, they, they again, they went from dark or light to dark and it just seems like these two are kind of a oops mistake. After that we have Chopper. And Chopper is a great copper, ha, get it, wordplay, is a great shimmery copper color. I really love it, like, especially looking at it right now, I'm just like, oh, oh, the colors and the looks I want to do with copper. It's really just, or Chopper. <laughs> See, it's a coppery color. It's messing me up here. But it really is gorgeous, and it would really work with a lot of, like, warm-toned eye looks. After Copper, or Chopper, we have Tease. Tease also has a pretty good dent in it. Tease is a really great kind of muted light brown, which is going to be really good kind of in your crease transitional color if you are going to use, um, if you're going to do like a cool tone look, like the um, Creep color. You wouldn't want to just place that on your crease. You know, you'd want a transition color first, and Tease would be a perfect transition color for that. After that, we have Nake Snake bite? Wow, we have snake bite. Snake bite, it really is just kind of like a dark brown uh, shimmer with some gold reflux in it. I really like it. I would also say maybe it's got like a little pewtery color to it. You know, like if you've ever seen um, the metal pewter kind of aged, it kind of has that feel to it. Up next we have suspect, which is that in... I thought it was a naked one, but I'm wrong. All right, here is Suspect. Suspect is like a really great kind of champagne sparkly color. There's not much more I can say about it. I'm not a huge fan of Suspect. I feel like it's kind of a bleh color. You know, for like the rest of the colors in the palette, I feel like it's meh. Up next, we have Pistol. Pistol is a really great kind of gray silver shimmer. I think it would pair really well with Creep and Gunmetal from Naked One. After that we have Veer. Oof, that is almost like a white, off-white, shimmery, metallic color, which I'm actually really loving. I've never really used it before in a look, but kind of looking at it now, I'm like, why haven't I? Like, that is bad on my part for not using it. Up next we have YDK. Yeah, so this is like the silver version. This is like the gold or copper version. It's like great and metallic-y. It kind of reminds me of like those uh, sparkly gel pens that you really wanted like as a kid. That's what it reminds me of and that's why I'm like really loving it right now. Alright, up next you got Busted. Busted is a really good dark brown. It's kind of got like a like a shift to it, but I think that's just to help it blend better. It is like a dark matte brown. Up next is Blackout. And Blackout is what it is. It is a dark, dark, dark black. Like Blackout, yeah, that is a correct name for it. I would totally be willing to do a which black matte is the best black matte video for you if that would be something you'd be interested in. Just go ahead and comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. That that black is intense. That is that is a go slow, very little at a time type of black. Up next, you have already seen Naked 3 on my channel. I did do a video about what is, you know, about like kind of all the pink tone palettes that are out there. And I did feature Urban Decay on it, but I'm going to do it again because this is definitely kind of like a different a different light and different take on it because we are comparing all the current Naked palettes. So that's why I'm adding it in again. I will link the other video down below. So if you want to see kind of all the pink tone palette reviews, um, you can just click there. So like I said, my Naked 3 is broken. Even just trying to open it up, it has problems. Of course, I didn't do this time, but the pan it sits in, it's coming out of, like, see? See how it's coming out of it? Yeah, like, this is as bad as it is. Like, it's very, very broken, 
And that makes me really sad because it's just, it's like, it's like when one of your favorite toys is broken as a kid, you're just kind of heartbroken about it, but it's not broken enough to where you need to buy a new one. But I mean, you're still really bummed because it was like, it's your favorite toy and you didn't take very good care of it. But I don't really know what I did wrong when opening it. But I mean, that's a totally different story. So <laughs> we're just going to get on with the swatches. As you can see, I have hit pan in three of the colors. Um, this is probably definitely one of my most used palettes. I'm going to be honest, it's probably definitely one of my most used. First up is Strange. Strange has a pretty good dent in it. So Strange, I would call it a lid color, but um, it is definitely, I mean, this whole palette is pink toned. So you don't, it is too pinky for my liking when basing out my eyelids. But if you definitely have a more pinky undertone, this color is for you. After that, we have Dust. Dust is a very, 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 very light pink, and it looks almost kind of like a light orangey pink, but it's a very, it's a dusting of a color, you know? Like, the name fits because of what it is. It's like a, a dusting of pink. Up next, we have Burnout. Burnout, it looks way more peachy here, but it is definitely just your typical very light pinky color. After that we have Limit. Limit is the second matte in the color. They do have a lot more mattes and kind of different finishes in this palette. Limit is a great mauve pink. I definitely like to uh, pair it with Nooner uh, when um, using it in the crease. Up next is my very favorite color in the palette probably ever actually because of how much I've used it like I really have to dig my finger in there it's buzz oh I just love buzz I love how pinky it is how sparkly it is I feel like if you have blue eyes brown eyes green eyes it does not matter this color is going to look amazing on your lid. Doesn't matter your hair color, doesn't matter your eye color, doesn't matter your skin tone. This color was meant for everybody. After that, we have Trick. Trick is a really great, like, peachy, sparkly color. I don't know why, but I think because I love Buzz so much, I just call Trick kind of uh, Buzz's little sister. I mean, it's just because I love Buzz so much, and they're right next to each other, and they're both sparkly. I mean, I've used Trick many, many, many times in a look, but I just, I don't love it as much as I love Buzz. I don't think I'll ever love anything as much as I love Buzz. Well, I love Freak a lot. Freak and Buzz together, man. Oof. Oof. Freak, the eyeliner or the color, like, eyeshadow by Urban Decay. Oh, those two. Thank you, Urban Decay, for making them. Up next is Nooner. Nooner is the other one. I have quite a huge dent in it. And the reason why is because Nooner is always my go-to um, crease color when I'm using this palette. So it's definitely been used pretty much almost as much as Buzz has been used, which is why they're so similar. Up next we have Liar. And no, I'm not lying. Haha. Uh -huh. Dad joke. All right, so it's looking a lot more coppery, but it is just kind of like a a pewtery, pinky, hodgepodge color. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe because like what you're seeing on camera is very different from what I'm seeing on my arm, but it is definitely like a, um, a pinky brown shimmery color. There we go, words, they came together finally. All right, up next is Factory. Which factory has a pretty good dent in it too, and I couldn't tell you why. I've definitely used it, but I don't feel like I've used it enough to cause a dent. But I guess I have. So I would just say that this is a nice purpley, browny, pinky color. You know, it's definitely like a layered color. You know, like at one hand you see, really see the purple, at one hand you really see the pink, at the next you kind of see like that, that brown that kind of brings it all together. I really love it. So I guess that's why I've used it so much. I just don't remember. Up next we have Mugshot. Mugshot is really uh, similar to Factory. I would almost say, like, they don't look very similar in the pan. 
but I would say next to each other swatch they do look very similar I would just say um, fact or mugshot definitely has more of that like metallic -y feel that the um, like in the Urban Decay palette, or not the Urban Decay palette, in the Naked 2 palette, you know, this is kind of like your, um, your pewter metallic color. Up next we have Dark Side. Dark Side is kind of a, um, silver, or not silver, well, kind of silver. It's very shiny, metallic-y, um, with just kind of some, like, subtle pink in it. You know, kind of like on the outer edges, you see that pink really come through. Then last but not least, you have Blackheart. I really like Blackheart, but one thing that kind of makes me sad is that clearly this is like a a black-pink color with some like pink sparkle reflux in it, but you can't ever really see it, you know? I think the pencil is a lot better with the last two colors because you really get to see, I guess, what they were going for with the colors. So I definitely like the pencil a lot better. I need to find mine because I can't find it right now. But, um... I really do love the concept of these colors. I just don't think they came out very well. But overall, as you can tell, I clearly love my Naked 3 palette. All right, up next we have Naked Smoke. As you can see, they really changed up the packaging for Naked Smoke. You've kind of got that multi-layer thing going on because you have this like really hard case. And Naked Urban Decay Smoke, like, it's all raised, but underneath you see that smoke. So I really just A-plus on this packaging. It's definitely one of my favorite. And I love, like, kind of like the sharp edges. I feel like this is really durable. You see a huge difference. You know, it's the same size and everything, but, like, the, they sound the same, but, you like... I just feel like this is going to be more durable if I'm going to travel than this guy. And I've already had this one broken, and I have Naked 2 broken. But I don't have any problems with Naked 3, so or Naked Smoke. So I feel like they really, with their packaging, have just... They've, they've really pulled it out. You know, you really see this evolution of packaging from them. And I personally just, I really love this one. Open it up. So they kind of went really interesting here. You know, you definitely have like your shimmers and your matte and it kind of goes um, light, light, dark in the middle. I feel like this palette wasn't very popular for Urban Decay. And I feel like because it was so many dark colors, people really didn't know how to work with this palette. But the funny thing is, is I make one of my all time favorite looks with this palette. I really do. And it's, you know, it's because it's all the colors are right here, you know, and they're dark and it's, it's like a dark, smoky cut crease with like a nude lid you know I don't even know how to describe this look but I love this look I busted it out like three or four times just this past Halloween like I really really loved it so let's get on with the swatches and I like okay so this is kind of weird but I like that the mirror sits up you know I don't have to hold it or anything like I don't know if the hinge is tighter or what but it's just like I can move it all around and I don't have to worry about it I really like that as well so high is on the shimmery side and it is just kind of going to be um, kind of a light, nudie, pinky um, color. It's really going to be great for the inner corner or the brow. After that, we have Dirty Sweet. Dirty Sweet is a um, coppery gold shimmer. After that, we have Radar. Radar is... It's like a satin finish, and unfortunately some of the other color kind of went into it, but it looks kind of cool that way. But it is a lot, it's just going to be a nice, um, words, wow. It's a good crease color, you know, it's kind of got a, it's got like a, I, I really hate this, but kind of like a pukey, pukey brown color to it. But I like it, like pukey doesn't sound very good, but I like this color. So, what do I know? Up next we have Armor, which is definitely probably one of my most used colors in this palette. So, Armor is a silver color with lots of silver um, chunks of glitter in it. And I think that's why I like it, is because I love the chunks of glitter so much. So, it's definitely probably one of my most used colors. Alright, Slanted is next. Slanted is a really great shimmery silver metallic, and I've also used it um, quite a bit. 
It's just, I don't know, like, with this palette, it's just, it so matches everything, you know? After that, we have Dagger. Oof. Dagger is a really great, dark, cool tone gray, and it is one of the colors I use when I do my um, cut crease smoky eye. I don't really know if that's what you call it, but I think that's what it's called. I mean, I never quite know what to call my looks because I just sit down I never really plan anything out and I just do you know that's kind of how I create my eye looks but this is definitely one of them that I use quite a bit black market is next black market it's not it's not quite a black like not it's not like blackout you know it's just kind of like a a gray black you know where the other one is like black black this is just a gray black and these two colors I use uh, to create that look that I've been talking about. And up next is Smolder. Now Smolder is the final color that I will put kind of in the outer V in the crease. And that's because it is a dark purpley, purple gray. And the reason why I like that is because the purple really shines through and it just kind of gives it more dimension, you know. It's not just all dark silvers and grays, you know. It's like we've also got that kind of purpley dark color in there. Alright, after Smolder we have Password. Password is a really great lighter gray. If you, you know, if you wanted to go maybe a little more on the softer side, you could definitely do this um, password kind of like on the edges on the outside so it's not so harsh. Up next we have Whiskey. Whiskey is a dark brown, uh, like a cool dark brown. Um, I was really surprised that this is the only whiskey. I thought whiskey was in like another color in one of the palettes, but it's not. So I was kind of surprised. I was like, really? There's not another whiskey? I was, I was legit shocked. After that, we have Combust. We can't really see it. Combust is, I don't know why it's so, so gray. I'm gonna something on my finger. I'm gonna try a different finger because it looks just so weird. No, that's just how Combust looks. Okay, so in the palette, Combust. This is Combust. You would think it'd be almost like a skin tone color, but then here, Swatched, it's like, oh hi, I'm actually kind of like a silvery, sparkly, metallic y color. Like, you can't even really see it on my hand. So it's definitely got a funky, funky color to it. After that, we have 13. 13, it's kind of like combust, you know, it's got that really surprising um, color payoff to it, you know, right here, because it's not quite a white. This is the color I use after I've used these guys to create that dark look. Uh, 13 is what I put on the lid to really just make it like pop and make that cut crease kind of like sharp and just like what type deal. Naked Heat Palette. When I found out this was launching, I was so excited. You don't you don't even know. I was like screaming my head off. I honestly thought they would have saved something like this for holiday time. Just, you know, in time for the holiday rush. But I was like, oh my god, you gave it to me now. Thank you, Urban Decay. Way to look out for your girl. <laughs> like, I am, oh, I haven't used it yet in a look. Because, like, right when I got it, I, I was moving. Or no, I've used it in one look. One look. And I'm just obsessed. So I love that they kept with the same packaging from Naked Smoke. I feel like it's very sturdy. You kind of have this layered effect where like you kind of like this plexiglass over kind of like there are lines underneath. And then the Naked Urban Decay heat part is all raised. Like it's got some texture. So overall packaging, I'm a super huge fan of. It's very themed like Naked Smoke and like Naked, um, Naked 3. Open it up. I'm just in love. I think it's because I love Naked 3 so much with all the pink tones. And then here we have like pinky red tones. I think that's why I'm just like, yes. So again, we have the standard 12 colors, spot for a brush, the mirror. Definitely love that it's like standing like naked smoke. But uh, enough of my babbling. Nobody cares about that. Let's get on to these colors. Oh. I just, I love this palette so much. I like literally just, oh, I want to marry it. <laughs> All right, on to the swatches. First up, we have Ounce. Right. 
ounce is just a shimmery um a shimmery color with some pinky undernotes it's very similar to other starter colors in the um naked decay naked decay urban decay naked series after that we have chaser chaser is a really great kind of light red orange brown really good for that transition color up next we have sauced Alright, Sauce is just basically a darker, more pigmented version of Chaser. And I'm so sorry if you can hear that lawnmower. I can't even see any neighbors that are mowing their lawns, but I can sure hear them, so I'm sure you can too. But Sauce is just, it's, this is a crease color. This is, I'm going to pop it in my crease, and then I'm going to play with the other colors. Oh, I think it's like my next, next door neighbor. It's driving me nuts. Next, we have Low Blow. Low blow, I keep wanting to say low burn. Low bro. <laughs> low bro is what I want to say now. Low blow is just a basically a more red brown. Again, really great for the crease. These are both matte. These three are matte. They definitely are really getting into playing around with more textures, more finishes, which I really appreciate just because it gives you more variety of looks to do. All right, now we've got our first like real shimmer color and that's lumber. Oof. Yes. All right, lumber is a red shimmery color. It's not like a true red. I would say it's like a like an orangey red with really great like gold red reflectives in it. I'm oh, I'm in love. Oh, I, I can't even tell you how much I'm just truly, truly deeply in love with this color. After that, we have He Devil. He Devil is just a really great brick red, and I think if you wanted to do a very monotone look, these three together would definitely create kind of that like fire burn look. After that, we have Talk or Dirty Talk. Ooh, Dirty Talk is definitely a more orange, uh, red, shimmery color. I want to say sparkly, but it's definitely more shimmery. But it's definitely got that more orange tone to it, but it's still just absolutely gorgeous. I, I love it. After that, we have Scorched. Scorched is more of a brick red uh, shimmery color. Again, I think it just everything in this palette is so cohesive, so everything pairs in here really well. It's shimmery, it's gorgeous. I actually feel like there's a lot less fallout in this palette than in all the other palettes. I definitely think they have reformulated for the better because everything applies so much better. I'm not seeing fallout. It's not it's looking so chunky sometimes. So they've definitely like reformulated and made their shades even better. All right, after Scorched, we have Cayenne. And Cayenne honestly just reminds me of the Spiced Cayenne. You know, it's like a, a burnt red type of powder. I feel like, honestly, if this was grind up, I would, well, I wouldn't try and cook with it because I don't cook. But you know what I mean. Like, it just reminds me, like, they named it pretty much right on the nose. Up next, we have En Fuego. Ooh, love that. So En Fuego is like a purpley red color, which I think is great for like a darker tone because everything is kind of so light and vibrant. So to have this dark color, if you like popped in the crease or in the outer corner, you know, you could really have some fun with doing different looks. Up next, we have Ashes. So with Ashes, this is kind of like a funky color because it looks really purpley, but when you swatch it, you kind of see like a purple brown thing going on which I'm definitely all for I feel like blended out in the crease this would look amazing not in the crease but in the outer corner this is more of an outer corner crease color if you ask me but I definitely think it's gonna help because everything is so monotone so then when or monochromatic so then when you get into these darker colors they really just give you some more viable options on different looks so last but not least we have ember
All right, Ember is definitely that kind of dual dual um, shimmer shade that we were kind of seeing in Naked Smoke. You know, on one hand, you kind of see that brown black on the edges, but then in the center, you also kind of see that shimmery pinky red going on. It's honestly not my favorite. I wish they kind of made it matte, but I do definitely think that you could do some fun with this kind of on the lower lash line. So that was the Naked Heat palette. All right, thank you for watching that video. I know it was long and full of information, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe. I definitely am debating about doing a look using the Naked Heat palette or maybe one of the other palettes. Let me know what you'd like to see down below. Let me know what you'd like to see down below. I'm totally open to anything. I have so many palettes that I wanna do swatch videos and tutorials on, like, Companies are pushing things out faster than I can get videos up. I'm debating on if I want to do another huge swatch review on the three um, Sephora palettes that came out. The like, colorful one, the warm one, the cool tone one. I do have all three. I did do a really, really fun look with the colorful one. So there's that option. I also got the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial and a swatch video on that. Just let me know what you'd like to see. I'm totally open to anything. All right, I think that is it for now. The setup is very different because I did move. I do have a makeup set, uh, like area set up, but I thought this would just be... <sighs> Somebody wants to say hi. Jax apparently really wanted to say hi to everyone. <laughs> or he just wanted to be held. But, um... Oh, buddy, you made me lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, I moved. <laughs> Uh, so I moved and so the setup is a little different I do have a makeup area and that's where I'll definitely be filming like tutorials and nail stuff but I thought you know just for a change of pace it would be nice to film down here for like swatches or book reviews or stuff like that um, I don't really think I'm gonna do a house tour just because this I don't know I just don't really feel like doing one I don't think it's worth anything buddy you can't go on the table okay so <laughs> I'm going to go because clearly Jax needs some attention, and if I don't give it to him, he's going to claw up something, I'm sure. Alright, so that is it for now. I will see you all very soon. Until next time, bye.